So, you think you can outsmart me? Well, this game's not over yet. Now it's just you against me. Let's see what you are made of. So, you want to start speedrunning scooby and the Cyber Chase, but every time you play through the whole game and come to the final fight with Phantom Virus, you find yourself taking too many hits and dying, which kills your runs. This is a common complaint with new players, but watching this video should hopefully clear some things up and help you finish more runs. At the start, the Phantom Virus is going to come to the center, and then we'll watch for where he goes and I'll explain how to dodge. This time you went to the top right. The first movement can be random, but by following a simple in your mind flowchart, you'll always know where he's going to end up. If he goes to the top, then he's going to end on the top. If he goes to the bottom, then he's going to end on the bottom. If he goes to the right on his first movement, then he's going to end up on the opposite, which is the left, and vice versa. So because he went to the top right, we know he's going to finish on the top left. Because we know he's going to finish on the top left, we want to go to the opposite, which is the bottom right. This gives us the most distance between us and him, and allows us to dodge easier. Because he went to the right on his first movement, we're also going to dodge by running to the right. Easy peasy. You need to do this two more times, and the fourth dash, we don't need to dodge. He went to the top left this time, meaning he's going to end on the top right. So I go to the bottom left. Easy. He went to the top right, meaning he's going to end on the top left. So we go to the bottom right. Now for the fourth dash. You don't need to dodge this one because he comes up towards you but doesn't go through you. So to make this go a little faster, we can run to where he's going to end. Top left, meaning he's going to finish on the top right. This is the second phase where the Phantom Virus calls down some lightning bolts. It's easy to dodge these as he's really slow. We can just run in circles and this stage is done. For the third phase, the Phantom Virus splits himself into three clones. Each of them are going to dash at you once, and you want to dodge to the left of them. This is because they return to the outer ring by going right. Throwing a pie and hitting him when he's vulnerable can be a little tricky. Now you've made it to the final phase, where the Phantom Virus runs towards you and strikes five times. If you get here with four or more health, you can just stand still, because he strikes during your invulnerable frames and you don't take damage. If you get here with less than four health, then you'll need to dodge at least one of the hits. You do this by waiting until he starts to move and then running to his left. This is because he strikes with his right hand and it's easier to dodge to the left. <laughs> if you've run out of pies, a little known fact is that the bosses can be damaged with a butt smash. And that's it, the fight is done. You've taken no damage, and you can simply get to the end, skip the dialogue sequence, and grab the final Scooby box. I hope this helped any new players, and I hope to see your times on the leaderboard soon.